shout out to Sneeko, man. Sneeko is going through this whole new rebirth. I feel like Sneeko started off like really neutral, really level-headed, and then he went through this spiral into the red pill. Now he's back being level-headed. But here's the thing. When you're level-headed and you are around extremists, that really don't mix. So, so Sneeko was on Fresh and Fit, where, you know, it's supposed to be the regular stick of, yo, a guest comes, talk to these women, let them know how dumb they are. But then they started talking about one particular argument, and Sneeko took the side of the women, and things were really contentious. Let's check it out. We, we saw uh, Rolo said something yesterday on Twitter saying that men should get vasectomies in their 20s the just 20s. to prevent this, which I completely disagree with. I think that it's important to to have family values and to, and to prepare for eventual parenthood. But that's the, that's the cope that a lot of men have. Like, why raise a family in this scenario? Why, like risk having a child with somebody who's wanting to build an empire or wanting to be as famous as Rihanna when you could just play it safe and do the snip snip. But hmm. I disagree with him completely. I, I want to know what you think about that. Uh, Rolo, like the godfather red pill, who's pretty much like created a lot of these ideologies, is saying like av avoid having a family. I'm going to tell you what's happening right now. Sneeko realized that his demographic is not the red pill extremist. Like he realized that his demographic is not the dudes who are just too far down a rabbit hole. Because his base and his subscription started off as really level-headed dudes. And he's been hanging around Destiny more and Abba and Preach more. And, he, and like he understands, yo, like the lane to really eating and prospering and thriving is probably the lane that Destiny and Abba and Preach is in, which is like present yourself as a dude who is directly in the middle. So now you have the merit to criticize all sides. And especially when I guess the clip of Sneeko... Um, admitting to one time being a cuck and watching his girl get smashed by another dude. Once that clip came out, Sneaker realizes, bro, that the dudes who are so deep into the red pill rabbit hole, they would never respect him. Like, they would never look at him like they look at Myron or Andrew Tate. So if you know that that demographic would never respect you or accept you, then there's no point in catering to, the, to that demographic no more, right? So now Sneeko is on the other end of the spectrum. But to be fair, though, like... I don't see anything Sneeko is saying as controversial. Of course, men shouldn't give vasectomies to avoid having kids. Bro, vasectomies are only reversible around 30% of the time, right? So that's a really permanent decision. So Rolo telling 20-something years olds or 19-year-olds or 18-year-olds to give vasectomies to avoid having kids in the short term makes no sense because, again, chances are they won't be able to reverse it. I think that's complete cope. Like that's just that that's when it becomes a black hole and really kind of black like I think sad, given, like I think given the marketplace that we're in it's 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 a it's a it's a reasonable it's a reasonable uh strategy avoid family well, here's the thing the upsides are great, but the downsides will absolutely demolish you I mean you can look at the tricons right now that's going through I mean look at Steven yeah, right now bro. And when they say tricons, they're talking about traditional conservatives like Ben Shapiro, Steven Crowder, et cetera, et cetera, right? Now, the red pill are conservatives as well, but they're just like this quam between the traditional conservatives and the red pill where they're saying like, yo, like this new red pill conservatism, that's not what we believe. And those guys are extremists. And then the new conservatives, the red pill dudes are saying, bro, those guys are antiquated. Don't listen to them. Their advice will not help you no more. So there's a civil war going on between that, right? But I feel like Myron, right now, Myron knows what Rolo said was bullshit. Like, he knows it was horse crap. But Myron feels like he has to be loyal and defend his friend who is damn near being called out by Sneeko live right now. So it's like, and I think that's why so many guys are going abroad because at least there, like, the women value family more than here. I mean, a lot of the girls here said, I want a family. But if you notice, like, the things that they're working on isn't necessarily to be a better mom. So I think one or two of you guys mentioned that, but not many of you. Most of you guys were prioritizing your career and your education, your own self-improvement, which is great. That's that's fantastic. But that's more of a masculine thing. Like, you got to ask yourself, is the guy that you want, is he going to want that back in return? Is he going to want another him? I mean, okay. I mean, would you guys, what if I lined up a bunch of dudes here and I said, what are y'all going to do to get the wife of your dreams? And they all said, oh, well, I'm getting manicures. I'm buying really nice designer. I'm getting dressed up really well. I'm doing my eyebrows. I'm getting haircuts every week. Would y'all take those guys seriously? No. Probably no. not, right? Because the things they're working on only benefit them, not necessarily you, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of how you got to look at it from the male perspective. Like, 
it's great that you guys are working on your money and everything, but it doesn't really benefit us as men. I think we should ask as well. Yeah. How many of you want kids with men? In terms of like, for example, having a father in the household too as well. I think everyone. Everybody? Yeah, everybody. Everyone. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Definitely. None of y'all want like a surrogate or anything like that? No. Yeah. Cool. But no, I, I think I think Rolo's assessment is spot on for the West. But I think that's why so many guys are going abroad because women have more traditional values. I mean, I mean, <clears throat> hell, some of the girls here are foreign, but they still have fairly Western values, right? If I if we went to Romania or something like that, when we were there, like girls aren't going to say, oh yeah, my career and making money. They're like, fuck that shit. I want to be home. But the, the obsession, well, like the reason he said that is like how to become a high value man. Mm -hmm. The obsession with becoming high status and having other people admire you instead of reach your peak happiness, which is having a family, that's where it becomes kind of bleak. Like why, what makes you high value? Other people's perception, having a lot of money, having a, a network. Like why does that matter? Why does being a high value man matter if you're not going to eventually start a family? Because look at all the girls here. They're all propping themselves up to be that high value man. That's but why. Just to well, clear. And we're calling that bleak and we're calling that out and saying it's empty. So why are we advocating for the same thing on the other side? Because it's not going to change, bro. Feminism is here and it's not going anywhere. Like women will not concede whatsoever. Like they're going to continue to make money. They're going to continue to gain status. They're going to continue to, you know, go up the ranks. Women are going to out earn men in the next 20 years. I predict it. They're a dominating men when it right, comes but, to college but being graduation. Bleak about it is it's kind of a waste because we we've seen some like I think your answer is exactly what I saw girls in Eastern Europe doing, get, trying to get closer to God, working on their health, working on uh, getting making sure they're emotionally mature. That's what Eastern Europe, uh, Eastern European women are doing. So it's not like you can't just set, put a, a blanket over all the women here and say yeah. give up and cut off your fucking balls from your dick so that no, you can't. No, 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 I get that. I'm Sneagle's making too much sense of scary. Of course, bro, I don't even feel like this is something worth even arguing about. Of course it's idiotic to tell men in their teens or early 20s or even 20s or even 30s to get a vasectomy to avoid having kids because it's a short-term solution to protect yourself against go diggers. <laughs> like, what? How do you go from zero to 100 that fast? And that's the issue with these red pill dudes is they will be spitting facts and then they would just take it to the outright extreme that it becomes absolute nonsense. Dealing with go diggers is a problem, but it's a very minute issue. You don't go to the absolute extreme, cut your balls off, or, or you feel, or like get your Peter snip. To not have kids through a vasectomy to deal with gold diggers. And this interaction is just funny because you can tell Myron knows, man, that Rolo is wrong. So Myron tries his best to articulate some type of sensible point. You know, he does a decent job at it. But then Fresh will step in and, and, and kind of set Myron back 20, 20 steps because now Myron got to defend Fresh, got to defend Rolo. Yo, this just got smoked by Sneeko, man. I'm all for families, man. I really, I, I've always said it. The nuclear family is the backbone of any thriving society. However, when half the equation of having a nuclear family doesn't necessarily prioritize a nuclear family, as a man, you got to make some adaptations because if you do make a nuclear family with someone that isn't as interested in making a nuclear family with you and they're, how do I say this? They're rewarded for leaving that nuclear family through divorce courts, alimony, et cetera. As a guy, you got to kind of reassess how you want to move. So I'm saying no, families are fantastic, but it's a very dangerous proposition in, in the West, in the United States. That's my thing. But I'm all for families. Though. I, I am, trust me. Come from a two-parent household. I would probably be a fucked up idiot if I didn't come from a two-parent household. But my parents are from the Middle East. They have different culture values. You know, religion is a thing. Here, religion isn't that big. Feminism is here. Women prioritize careers just seen through. The, and all these girls are young, too. That's the crazy part. Yeah, They're all young. young panel. You know what I mean? So, so, I think, I, so what's your take on this? I want to hear Fresh yeah. and Fit's take on this. There's 15,000 men watching for the most part. Should men in their 20s get a vasectomy? Personally, I would say, um, looking at it from a holistic standpoint, I get what Rolo's saying for the whole topic itself of being high value because, once again, if you get a woman pregnant that's not there for you, she could be against you and it could turn to many different things. But personally, like I was saying earlier, for me, I do want a family if... I mean, the right woman, I think, is going to raise that, chit, that, that child. But for most men, do they have the, I want to say, resources to find a woman that they want of their dreams or even get the right woman? Probably not. So to be safe, vasectomy might, might be in their best interest. What? What? So I'm poor. I'm not a high-value man. I don't have the resources to get the chicks I want. So the solution to that is snip and cut my dick up. So I can't have kids. Won't that make you even lesser of a value? 
Like, won't that just diminish your value to just an absolute bare minimum now? To absolutely zero? Like, won't that just push you at the floorboard of the men to pick from from the sexual marketplace? What? The solution to being poor, not high value, not having the resources to get the girl of your dreams isn't to snip and cut your hands up. No, 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 no. Just move with virtue. Just move with principles. You feel me? Like, don't stick your penis in anything moving just because that's the best you can do. Right? Refrain from sex until marriage. That's a better option. Work on yourself. So maybe, you know, if you're dating a chick who you really like, who's your dream girl, then maybe you wouldn't feel regret getting her pregnant. All right? Do that. But also, too, like... That goes against his point because if a man is not high value, he don't have money, he don't have the resources to get his dream girl, then getting a chick pregnant like really doesn't apply to him, right? Because, you know, like what she's going to take, lint? She's not a gold digger, right? Like if he has no resources, she, she can't be a gold digger, right? Like what's she going to take from him, all right? His $2.50 per hour stubs? I mean, come on, bro. Yes. yes. No, no, I'm saying, okay, so it is a yes or no. It depends on, on the, on the uh, individual. That's what I'm saying. So it's up to the man to decide for himself. But I'm just saying, generally for me, I think family is very important. But I understand why most men would, might not want that because finding a woman that's actually good for you may be kind of hard. So I get talking it. a little bit in America specifically. In America, yeah. In America, to yeah. be specific. What do you think? Let me let's get the ladies' takes on it, and then I'll, I'll give my opinion because I don't want to corrupt them with my take. Okay. Uh, my take on it, man. I think it's a sliding scale. The more successful the guy, the more money he has, the more he has to lose the more vasectomy might be a probable, a good choice. But again, it depends on the guy. If the guy's not smashing at all, do you want to, you want to do that? And, you know, obviously you can always undo the snip. So it really depends on the individual. And I think the two main variables are his success and how promiscuous he is with dealing with women. Mm -hmm. I think those two factors heavily influence the decision. It's going to change per person. Right. But his take, role of take was that, to be a high value man, the top three steps avoid family <laughs> creation, get a vasectomy, and have a network. It's just like the generic male son improvement stuff, but num like two of the top three get a vasectomy and avoid family creation. Do you agree? Did he say avoid? I don't think yes. he said avoid. Word family. for word, avoid family creation. It's on top, Twitter. Top it's three it's steps to become list. a high value man. Okay. I didn't see this tweet. I'm about to yeah. take a look at it. But I mean, here's the thing I think what he means by that is being the most. When he says high value man, he's talking from the perspective of being able to be a play playboy and get as many girls. But why is that a priority over having a fan? Like, wh why would that even be advice? Why, why would that be a male self improvement advice? Nico, I hope this ain't grifting, my boy. <laughs> I hope this ain't grifting, my boy. I hope you ain't taking it just pearly things path, bro. I hope you truly believe what you're saying. Because listen, we agree. Of course, of course, you don't promote uh, wealth and secular things over. Start the family, bro. Because as men, like, our purpose on earth is to procreate, right? It's to reproduce. It's to raise the next generation of human beings that we want to see the world reflect, right? We instill morals and principles into them to reflect the world that we want to leave behind when we pass away and we die. That's our sole purpose, bro, is to reproduce and keep the world going. So, of course, we agree with you, Sneeko. But this is a stark difference. It's a drastic difference from your rhetoric just a couple months ago. We still remember when Destiny and you were debating and you kept on bringing up the money, the cards that you have in terms of your value and Destiny kept shutting that down. So we still remember, right, how you thought though that money, wealth, jewelry, cars, et cetera, et cetera, made you high value and that was, you know, like your worth as a man. So I'm glad you changed, bro, and I applaud you, but I just hope you're not out here grifting, saying things you don't mean for some change. Well, be a playboy instead of raise a family. Well, we 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 we, like, we make fun of women all day for wanting to be girl boss queens and sleep around and have all this, and then you tell guys be a playboy instead of raise a family. That's the same advice on the other side. Because here's the thing: when you're a playboy, you're going to be better at raising the family, and the reason. But he's saying that, avoid family creation. Well, he's saying to be a high value. He's talking from the frame, knowing how knowing Rolo because I know him personally. He's talking from the frame of being a guy getting a lot of girls. And then, if you decide you want to get a family down the road, you can always unsnip and then go ahead and go to, down the family route. But in today's day and age, I agree to a degree that you need to have sex with at least 50 girls as a guy. I talk about that all the time. It's controversial. But the reason why I say that is because most women are more promiscuous than most guys.
So if you're a dude and you're getting out here and dating girls and you get your pee pee well with the first girl, she could sell you a dream and you'll be like, oh, yeah, this is great. So guys got to get out there and be sexually experienced. So he's talking from the frame of, uh, he's talking from the frame of, you know, being attractive. I think, I think most guys out here are not going to be able to control their sexual urges. So he's saying as a, oh, dude. Yeah. Okay. You got it? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. The quickest path to becoming a high-value man. Do not get married. Avoid family creation. Vasect me in your 20s. Live consistently. Eliminate all sedations. Learn game and networking. Play to your strengths. Build wealth. Resist easing up on your focus. He's talking about building, increasing your value when you're young. Becoming successful, yeah. Becoming successful. Yeah. So avoid family creation so, again. Yes, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, because when you get, yeah, dude, because your value doesn't go up until you're built something, and that's typically going to be in your 30s. So most guys... Vasectomies are not like condoms. You don't just get to put it on and then take it off willy-nilly. According to Stanford, up to 30,000 men per year regret getting a vasectomy. It's not a decision that just has no risk. There's some risk that's come with it. And I don't think we should be promoting that to our audience, which is filled with young men and saying, yo, this is the path. I just don't think that's right. But again, if you know your audience better than me, bro, then by all means, you feel me? I, you know, I just don't think that's wise. That's what he's saying. What do they focus on? Girls the whole time. He's saying at this point in your, in your career, when yeah. you're on the way up, Focus on things that are going to help you move forward in life and become successful. Yeah. And get so a so surgery find... done that prevents you from having children. Yeah, but you can always reverse it. He's that's saying... not like a lot of the times that shit messes up. It's That's not something you could just like but hope that it's going to be okay. Generally, then. most men can't control their urges. So what's yeah. going to happen is they're going to go fuck around and get somebody pregnant. This then, is this is how you rise up yeah. the path to become high status because yeah. you're eliminating all variables that risk. can fuck you up. Yeah, it's about that's risk, what he's saying. Risk mitigation right there. How many dudes do you know that could have made it to the NBA or could have been a star and an athlete or something that got some chick pregnant. Yeah. Like, like kids, a lot of the times ruin dudes futures because they have kids prematurely. So he's saying, this is the path to becoming a high value man. And then is once you become that guy, once you become that guy, reverse the vasectomy. Yeah. Yeah. You, Do, you think that's good advice? I mean, that's good advice. If your qualifications of a high value man is a guy with a big body count, but it might be like, it, I thought, no, 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 no. He's talking about increasing your value as a man. Avoid like you're basically what he's doing is he's retard proofing it. Yeah. If you have a vasectomy and you bust nuts at girls, you're not gonna have a kid, so you're not gonna fuck up your future when yeah. you're young and you're not in a position to raise that child. That's what he's saying. We all know what is men's biggest weakness, women. And as a result, what happens is what's another factor for not having success? Having a kid too early. That's that's reality. That's the number one wealth killer, dude. Yeah, kids. Having if you kids. really look at it. It's, like it's, it's what it is. Killer. I, I'm, again, now, once again, we support families. Yeah, we do. But at the same time, for what he's saying to become successful, you at can't a young say age, that you support families and also tell your audience to get a vasectomy. We didn't say that. We just said we, we're, we're you're toting the no, fence about. We're explaining why you, why you said that. Do you agree? I understand why you said it. You're, you see how you're ducking, <laughs> dude, you see how you're ducking the no, it's a simple but question. It's on me. It's not about me. It's about the generational. I'm asking your opinion, bro. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? How are we trying to pass off advice that we don't even feel comfortable saying that we agree with? We don't feel comfortable saying out loud, I agree with this, but we're passing it off as advice to our audience. <sighs> Y'all let me know in the comment section, man, whose side are you guys on? Sneeko or Fresh and Fit and Rollier, all right? It's your boy, Porter Tlaco. Peace.